Hello reformers and welcome back to Shadow of War. Now when we left off we were attempting to do the Zog Necromancy quest and let me just say that I personally feel like we needed to do a little bit of micromanaging I suppose you could say or shall we say orc managing because I didn't have a bodyguard and uh, well against those guys I feel like having a bodyguard would be very very useful because they are very annoying. They do not allow you to use counters against them because they have cursed weapons. It's absolutely annoying. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> yes, annoy 101 of course. Anyway, what I've been doing is as you could see here I've dominated Nakra the Rogue. Yes, his name is Nakra the Rogue. I, I find that so hilarious how we always find someone called Nakra and it just so happens to be the, actually the second guy that I encountered in Minas Morgul. And what I've been attempting to do is a couple of just rather fun things. I've also been looking at some of the daily quests as well because if you go along here and you take a look at the end here we have challenges and as you can see if we were to brutalize orcs another 49 of them we need to do so it's quite a lot but I think we can do that pretty easily then we'll gain a gold loot chest which might be a pretty nice thing to do. And otherwise, you can use some executions to dispatch enemies in Minas Morgul, which is going to give us level 46 legendary gear, which is exactly the level that I am. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. I'd like to do an online vendetta as well in Minas Morgul, because that's going to give us 50 of the real money transaction currency. So I don't really need to, you know, grind for it or anything like that. It's a pretty easy mission. So... You know, that might be quite nice to do an online vendetta and also to execute some enemies. So what I've also been doing is having a bit of fun with the poison grog. As you can see, I've just kind of been poisoning these two barrels here. There's a captain which has actually been poisoned by it and he's attacking his own guys. And there's also a couple of orcs over there that we're just having a bit of a fun time. So let's just see if I can maybe take advantage of the situation. And, I mean, this guy's poison like nothing else. Maybe we can shoot him in the head now. Is he arrowproof? No, he's not arrowproof, but I've got him on fire now, so that's fantastic. And that's going to mean that we'll have an even better time of it. Submit now. Perhaps I will show you a bit of mercy. Yeah, so what I'd like to do is try and get as many of these orcs to join us as possible. There was a person that I attempted to get beforehand, but he wasn't really happy with what I was doing. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to really get him. He actually had Iron Will, hilariously enough. I'm not entirely sure how he had Iron Will, but he did. And, well, I'm just going to try and build up my orcs. As best, as, you know, as best as I can. And what I'm going to try and do in just a second, which I thought would be a pretty interesting subject for an episode, or at least a section of an episode, is to level up Nakra the Rogue as much as possible. Make him as powerful as he can be, because he's going to be our bodyguard. So what I've done is a bit of a Karagor raid. I've sent him to go and raid Creamp Graug Slayer's Karagor Pens. Now, Creamp is the guy that had Iron Will, and I shamed him earlier on. And hopefully, yes, as you can see, hopefully... No, no, Iron Will is still on. Yes. Wow. That's... That's kind of a shame. But he is mortally vulnerable to stealth, so that's going to be pretty easy to deal with. Had a category of my own once. Oh, I loved that category. Had to eat it sometime, though. We're upwind of the Karagals, so they'll stay quiet. You lot ready? I'd like to get some more training orders as well, because training orders are always fun. Okay, so let's see if I can get this guy in a stealth attack. Maybe I'll be able to. Yeah, he's a bit far away at the moment. Unfortunately. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, come on. Can I can I get him? There we go. Oh, no, I can only knock him down. Are you serious? Oh, okay. Seems like he can't be fighting. You know, I have to actually get him while he's kind of unaware. I remember the pain and the fear and everyone else spitting on me. I remember it all. 
so I can give it back to you! Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the shame mechanics, really, but it's kind of necessary to get them lower level to reduce their iron will skill or, or remove it entirely. Why, why is why is Nakra dazed? What's going on with him right now? Oh, he seems to be dazed for some reason. Okay, well, I can't really do much about that. I guess I'm just going to try and do a little bit of the executing, and hopefully Nakra will then try and help me a little bit. That would be kind of nice. Okay, come on, a little bit of extra damage, and then we should be able to take him out. I just really want to kill this guy just so that Nakra can gain some levels. So that he can be the best possible Nakra that he can be. Obviously, if I can't have the tower, then I'm happy to just have a namesake. Don't really mind. There you go, I'm just going to let Nakra kill him. There we go. And hopefully he's gained some, you know, going to gain some good levels from that. I've also been doing a little bit of gem hunting as well. He, he gained one level from that? Really? Only one? Oh, that's a shame. Okay, well, he's 37 now, so I suppose that's pretty decent. But he gets dazed from something, and I'm not entirely sure what he gets dazed by. Let's just take a look at his skills for a sec. He get, Oh, no! He gets dazed uh, oh, from burning. That is awful. That's really bad, but as you can see, he's immune to execution. He's also poison-proof. He's enraged by rivals, enraged when witnessing the death of an allied captain. He's also the blood brother of someone, but I'm not entirely sure who that is. This guy is not particularly good, unfortunately, but he is Nakra's namesake, so that's the reason why I'm going to be keeping him around. Let's see if I can use some training orders on him. Oh, I could raise a follower's level by five. Huh. I could give him a cursed weapon. But poison, I think, is perfectly fine for him at the moment. Let's raise his let's raise his level by five. Maybe he's going to lose that daze. Oh, he actually gained a mount. I did not gain him that at all. He just gained that by himself. Oh, he still has a fear of burning. Oh, that's absolutely awful, isn't it? Okay, well, he is. He has a gang of hunters with him as well, by the way. Okay, well, I guess there's not much more I can do with the exception of just take a look at the new item I gained, which is that. Okay, that's not particularly good, is it? Alright, so I guess the only other thing I can do as well is purchase a couple of silver war chests, perhaps. Because... Well, I mean, it might be kind of nice. Maybe we could get some good training orders or something. And we do get two orcs as well. Oh, we get two gear pieces there as well, if we want to. Oh, okay, well, yeah, I'm going to buy a couple of these. I'm going to buy five of them? Wow, okay, you can actually buy five just straight up. I guess I'm going to do that. Why not? Okay, let's have a look. Let's open the first one. Ooh, that's a legendary. That is a... That, I think that is a legendary. Oh, wow, battle... Are you serious? That is the worst battle training I could possibly have imagined. Raise the followers level by one. But we did get Grisha the Rat Lord, a dark assassin epic. Wow, that is pretty cool. And vulnerability is heavily damaged by ranged attacks and has a fear of brutality. Oh, okay, well, that's not too bad. Fireproof and immune to curses. Enraged by everything. Wow. And he has no chance to. He also has epic throwing knives, and he's a Caragor rider. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Okay, let's open the next chest and see what we get. I'm only going to be focusing on the epic captains that I that I get right now. And we did get an Olog gang, which is a pretty decent training order, I suppose. Schoon! Schoon blood mad. Oh, actually not bad. Enraged by weakness. What? What? Okay. He's immune to executions, he's immune to fire, he's immune to frost, he's immune to curses, and he's also beast-proof. So, he cannot die, question <laughs> mark? Wow. Now that's pretty amazing. And then we also have Two Horn the Legendary over there. Wow, okay. Well, th these, oh, these epics that we're getting are pretty amazing so far. And what are we getting here? Ah, a defender gang, and we also have Hoglik. Hoglik, the deathmonger, as well as Arbaruk, the mountain eater. Let's take a look at Hoglik. He has fireproof. I don't think anyone is going to be able to beat the other fellow for immunities. I think that that's just utter insanity right there. All right, let's see what else we're going to get. Okay, so what's this training order? What is that? Oh, send a follow to the garrison. Oh, that's fantastic. That means we can bring Nakra the Tower into Minas Morgul, if we so desire. 
Snafu the Shy. Okay. Poison, Enraged by Injury. That's pretty good. Epic Trapper. Mm, that's actually pretty decent. He has a gang of warriors as well. And we also have Prak, the Blood Pike. Prak. Yeah, that's funny. Alright, so let's open the last one and see what we're going to get. What is that? Wow. Raise the followers level by one. Really. That is absolutely awful. Okay, so he has... Oh, wow. A fear of... Well, everything, it seems. Everything ranged, at least. And he's poison-proof, frost-proof, beast-proof, and he's vigilant against stealth. So he's, he's pretty decent in that regard. But I think the other guy is just absolutely fantastic. Really, really good. So, look, here's all of our guys, by the way. I actually have a bunch of legendaries that I haven't used. So I guess I'm going to be using those later on when we enter the end game. And who's the, who's the guy that's really good? Is it Schoon Bloodmad? Yes, it's Schoon. Schoon Bloodmad. All right. Okay, I, I guess I'm going to use him. I'm going to use him over here. There we go. And maybe we can make him our uh, our um, our bodyguard. Maybe something like that. I mean, we do have a bunch of commons as well, but uh, yeah, we don't really need to worry about those so far. All right, so yeah, why not? Let's uh, let's make him. Wait a minute. There we go. Can I clear target? There we go. Can I not command him to do? I was involved in an active mission. What active mission? What is he doing? What is he doing right now? Ah, trial, trial by ordeal. Oh, I see. Okay, so he's going to go and kill a ravenous caracal. Okay. Well, never mind. There's an online vendetta. I think we should probably do that. Let's execute a couple of people as well. Because that will get us the community challenge thing to, you know, hopefully get us that legendary gear. Because at the moment, our gear is actually really, really low level. Don't you know? We have one of your maggots. He's gonna die a very slow, very painful death. Ah, Snafu! Snafu the Venomous. Yes, well, he's seeming to be quite easy to take out so far. Oh, he's enraged by Frost, I would assume, or enraged by Acrobatics, or something along those lines. Okay, now, if I could just execute him a little bit, maybe. There we go. Maybe we can get him. Maybe we can get him. Oh, he's got an execution counter. Whoa, that's that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Okay, well, he's done. I don't know whether he has iron will. Does he have iron will? Let's actually just take a look real quick. No, he doesn't, but he has a slayer counter. Wow. Execute him from behind instead. He has a poison weapon. He's a fast learner in rage by acrobatics like I thought. He is weak to stealth and beasts, and he has a fear of burning and spiders. Alright, well, let's just recruit him. The more the merrier. There we go. That's pretty nice. Okay, so yeah, you could just you could just stay and fight or retreat. I don't I don't really mind. Alright, there we go. Now let's go over here and we're just gonna get hopefully a little bit of might so that I can actually execute some people. Oh yes, just killing these way too fast now. Okay, come on, give me some might. Ow. Yeah, that really did not help, did it? No, not at all. Well, this is actually a pretty good way of getting might. Because believe it or not, you go to full might when this happens. So hopefully I'll be able to execute. There we are. Nice. Okay, so we gained a cloak. A legendary cloak. Defeated enemies have a 23% chance of exploding. Yeah, here's the thing. Recover all health after a successful stealth kill. It's, it's fantastic. But I guess we should probably use something a little bit better, right? I guess. So let's just let's actually just start upgrading our stuff now. Let's do uh, that's actually pretty good. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I I don't really want to. Uh, no, I don't want to use that. Okay, I, I want to use this instead. There we go. And is there anything else here that I can really use? Yeah, my swords really could use an upgrade. But at least we're done now. So we can go to that online vendetta and hopefully complete the 
community challenge or daily challenge or whatever it is and then hopefully we'll be able to continue from there maybe do a killer brimbor activity or something because there are two of those in this area there's also eltario quests that we really need to catch up on because we've only done 50 percent of those so far and i think that would be quite useful so after that yeah you know after we do a couple of things to catch up like you know this uh, online vendetta and obviously the killer brimbo activities then we'll be able to hopefully help el Tariel to uh, disable or at least try to recover the palend here now let's see what we have to do oh we have to kill ologs save keeping clear of the bulk when they fall yes yeah, so we have to kill what is it now five of their o uh, five of his ologs okay well that shouldn't be too bad i suppose because oh, it's this map. This isn't. This is the same map that I'm used to usually. Okay, let's do it. Bail fire attack. Yes. And there's actually a captain here as well. Hilariously enough. Wow, I I took so much damage from that, literally. Okay, come on, take him down. Take him down. There we are. That's what we like. Let's try and get him. Hopefully he doesn't have Iron Will. If he has Iron Will, this is going to be bad. Nope, he's joining us. I am yours. I am yours. Stay and fight for me. I have your back. Yes. Okay, no, no, I don't want to attack him, thank you very much. Okay, so, yes, we've killed one so far. And maybe there'll be a couple of others in the area. Oh, there's another bale fire opportunity. Or just fire. Regular fire is fine. Okay, let's go over here, use a nice elven light. Oh, this is just absolute utter devastation right now. And he's already arrived. Wow, he's level 47. He's a cursed feral beast master and he's legendary. Okay, I'm going to take a look and see what his, well, strengths are. I mean, obviously he's got... Wow, okay. So he can be damaged by executions, explosions, and stealth attacks. Otherwise, he's arrow-proof, immune to curses. He's enraged by mortal wounds, which makes him very dangerous. And he can also call Karagors, as well as a Graug. As well as Dire Karagors. I don't know whether I'll be able to do this, actually. This seems very difficult. Very difficult. Oh, there's another captain. Yes, I want this. I want this guy to join us. If at all possible. I don't know whether that's going to happen, but we're going to try. Did I really get killed? I dodged that, I thought. Oh well, it's okay. It's absolutely fine. As long as we can hopefully dominate this guy, I should be okay. Yes, there we go. What's cool about doing this as well is that every time we recruit one of these guys, they gain huge amounts of levels. Oh, Bruce! It's Bruce! Oh, that's cool. Okay, stay and fight for me. Yes. Okay, so we have two guys helping us out now. And the other fellow doesn't seem to know where we are at, actually, so hopefully it's going to stay that way for now. And maybe I can find a couple more... You know, a couple more captains in the area for us to dominate, because that would be very, very useful. Uh, I gotta say, I really hate not being able to vault over Ologs. I feel like that's kind of annoying, but yeah, they're, they're pretty easy to deal with anyway. Okay, there we go. So now, if I could just kill that. Whoa, explosions. Okay, so let's take a look around. And see... Ooh, there's another one over there. But he's very far, so it's not really necessary. Mm, okay. Anyone else around here? Uh, oh, that one. There's one over there. Let's go and get him. Alright, so where is he? Does he have Iron Will? He has Final Curse! Triggers an explosion upon his death that curses nearby enemies. He has cursed everything. Wow. 
Wow, that's pretty crazy and pretty cool at the same time. Okay. So let's see if I can do something here. I don't really want to have the level 47 guy attack me right now. So hopefully he's just going to stand away. Oh, really? You're running over here now, aren't you? There's a little bit of damage. Okay, there's some grog. Shoot the grog. Is he immune to fire? No, I don't think so. Oh, Karagors. Okay. Karagors. Yep. Dire Karagors at that. Oh, is he immune to fire? No, it doesn't seem like it. It seems like he's just recovered very, very quickly. Shed a lot of orc blood. A lot of black has flowed over this blade. That's why I call it my black blade. Yes, I understand. Thank you. Okay, wow. Lots of dire caragors in the area here, but hopefully I'll be able to use this explosion. And maybe get a little bit of extra damage. I am dying, actually. I might have a last chance uh, situation to continue here, but I'm going to go over here and see if I can... Oh, yeah. I don't have that thing on anymore that recovers our HP from stealth attacks. That's probably not the best, is it? That was hilarious. If ever I saw it. <laughs> okay, come on. There we go. At least we've got a dire Karagor now, so that's obviously going to help us out a little bit. Come on. Get off. There we go. Okay, let's see if I can maybe do a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Fire. Thank you. Bale fire, no less. And he's broken. And he is mine. This seems to be... I think probably the easiest way to win in online vendettas. You just try and find the various orcs in the area and try to convert them to your side. And then you can just tell them to fight for you. And then eventually, it means that... I mean, look at this. Look at this. My guys over there are actually already dealing damage to Ronk. And he's almost dead, in actual fact. So that's, that's pretty amazing. That there's more to butchering than just chopping and cutting. There's an art to it. A beauty. I'm going to butcher you. And you will be my masterpiece. How did I know he was going to say that? Yes. Okay, so let's just eliminate him. I mean, I think he's, I think he's basically dead. There's nothing much more he can do, I don't think. And I'm surprised that a level 31 and a level 28 were able to get him down so low. He's enraged by mortal wounds now, but that's okay, because I can execute him a little bit. And maybe we can do something else to him? I don't know, really. Okay, come on. Can he actually die while he's enraged? He is, he is arrowproof, isn't he? Yes, he is. Oh, actually, I shot the wrong guy, didn't I? Fantastic. Nope, he is arrowproof, so this is going to be more difficult than imagined, but I think it's okay. He's adapted now, of course. Ah, he's on fire. Yes. I think this is going to be it. I'd like to get maybe an execution on him, because if I can get an execution on him, I might be able to... I don't even know. Maybe get something from it? Nah, probably not. Because I think we already have those legendary items, but there you go, he's dead. And we killed him pretty simply, actually. We didn't even need all the captains that we... had. Anyway, there's a Vendetta loot chest, level 45, no less, as well. All right, so I guess we should probably take a look at that chest. Because you never know. Maybe it's going to be something pretty good. I mean, wh what? How do I have three gold loot chests, a gold war chest, and all of this? This is interesting. I didn't know that I actually had this many chests again, because I thought I opened all of them. Strange. Okay, well, we do have this. Okay, so what do we have here? Headshot enemies, 12 focus recovery. Okay. And that. Right. That is fantastic. No, it's not. It's not at all. Okay, let's open the level 10 gold conquest chest. See if we get anything from here. Ooh, a legendary. That's actually pretty good. But... It is level 17. So... 
quite far behind what we had previously. There's also a spoils of war chest here. And, oh, we're getting some orcs from this. Oh, we got an epic. Is, it, is that a legendary as well? We're getting two legendaries? Wow, that's crazy. Okay, so we got some training. Wait a minute, no. There we go. Oh, we got reassignment orders. That's awesome. So that we can take Nakra with us twice now. And we also have epic training. Grant to follow a resistance to fire. And nearby allies. That's pretty nice. And we have Ukbuk. We have Ukbuk. And he's a trapper. He's fire, yeah, fireproof, immune to curse, enraged by frost. And Horza is... Enraged by stealth, immune to curse. Okay, okay, you know, not bad. He's got a fanatical gang, and he's also a poison master, so that's pretty good. But he becomes dazed when shot in the head. And Hosh Grish, the enraged. No doubt he's going to become enraged from everything. He's on a killing frenzy. Enraged by betrayal as well. Ah, oh, he's pretty cool. He's, he's kind of a Nakra style of berserker. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so yeah, there's a couple of the chests opened, and we've made a little bit of progress in Minas Morgul. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.